Hey, how you doing, econ students? It's Mr. Clifford. It's time for an e-concept that you absolutely have to know. And every year, students get confused on it. Don't be confused. It's the difference between a change in demand and a change in quantity demanded. They're completely different than each other. Take a look. I'll explain right here. Look at this product. Let's just say it's burritos. It doesn't really matter. We have a downward sloping demand curve. You know what that means, right? Inverse relationship between price and quantity. Okay. We have two ways of getting from 10 to 20, okay? There's A to B, which is a whole shift in the curve, and there's A to C, which is movement down along the curve. The question is, which one's a change in demand and which one's a change in quantity demanded? A change in quantity demanded is movement along the curve. In this case, from point A to C, the only thing, pay attention, the only thing that affects quantity demanded is price. It's the only variable. A lowering of price, when they lower the price down from five to three, that would increase the quantity demanded, not the demand. It increases the quantity demanded from 10 to 20, movement along the curve. Now, how else can we get from 10 to 20? Well, instead of the price lowering, some other factor, right? One of the five shifters of demand can cause us to go from A to B. A to B is a change in demand. It's a shift in the entire curve, right? At price five, for some reason, now people want even more at that same price five. So the whole curve shifts over, and that's because one of the five shifters, a change in the price of a related good, or a change in taste and preferences, a change in income, something like that causes the entire demand curve to shift. Price never shifts the curve. Price doesn't shift the curve, right? Some other factor shifts the curve. Price just moves along the curve. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Till next time.